anyway. Hi everyone. When Mike's been reading your comments, quite a few of you were asking about my bike. So a lot of you know that I made my bike. Now all it was, it's, it's a swim frame and that's all it was. There was no handlebars, there was no wheels, no tires, no brakes, no kickstand, no seat, no carriers. Just nothing. It was just a just a frame. So I bought the put the tires and the wheels on it, and then I added the kickstand. <clears throat> I put the handlebars on it. I had to put an extension in here because I wanted the handlebars a little bit higher. Uh, the seat underneath this seat is another comfortable seat, and this is a um, a seat pad that fits over top. Um, so it's really comfortable and then I converted it to electric that's the battery I put it there so it looks like a gas tank this bag here I bought off Amazon and that holds the computer and the controller for all the electric part of the bike I put the brakes on it these are hydraulic brakes I put the carriers on it more electric uh, hydraulic brakes uh, I put the basket on it for Mike and when I get groceries um, this bag here um, it it holds my helmet like that and I when I'm uh, getting groceries I fill that up with groceries the nice thing about this bag too is that these are sorry give me a hard time um, these are also uh, saddlebags, so they open right up on both sides, and they they can hold a lot of groceries. So it's really a convenient bag to have, and it, and it folds up nice. So and it zips up easy, but it does zip up easy. Only when you're doing a video, that's when it becomes difficult. Uh, <clears throat> I also put, uh, there's two alarms on the bike. Um, so if I'm somewhere and I have to go in a store, I can remote control the alarms. So if anyone touches the bike or moves it, the, the alarms will go off. Um, give you an idea on the, the handlebars what I all I've put on it <clears throat> uh, this is the controller this is what allows the bike to start up um, and then this here this is so I don't have to have mirrors on the bike. There's a camera back here and it uh, tells me if someone's behind me. And it also uh, records. So if I get hit or something, it will record and save that recording. Uh, you got your cell phone holder. These I don't use very often, but they're, they're for cameras. Uh, you got your cup holder, so when I go to the coffee shop, I can put my coffee there. Mike sits up here. Um, you got Mike sits in here. He's really comfortable. Sometimes he lays right down inside here, and I'm riding along, and he's sleeping. Uh, the wind will go through these little vents, and he's he's held in by this. Plus, he wears his helmet and his goggles. Uh, it's got a light uh, front and back um, that's the, the speed that I want to go um, what else do 
else to tell you guys. That's about it, really. Uh, <clears throat> I've really had a, a lot of enjoyment out of this bike. Uh, it took uh, it took a little while to build it, but uh, I really, really like it. And I enjoy building it, too. Uh, I get asked all the time if I build another one, but uh, for someone else, but no, I don't. I don't want to. There's there's tons of bikes out there that they can just buy. Uh, this one, I probably got uh, two or three thousand in accessories, and then my labor in it. So you're probably talking, I don't know, thousand or two thousand. So you got a four or five thousand dollar bike. But if it's nice weather out, I ride this all the time. I go get groceries, I go to the store, go to the coffee shop. Um, and it's the same with my wife's bike. I had a really hard time to find her a bike because uh, she's so short. And uh, she couldn't touch the ground. Most bikes out there are for, for at least someone 5'7 and up. Uh, a lot of the bikes I couldn't even ride because they're so high. Um, that's one of the nice things about making your own bike. You make it to, for you. And so I made this bike for her. Again, it was a Schwinn. Just happened to pick out two Schwins, But anyway, uh, so it was just a frame. Um, I put the electronics on it. Put the seat on it, the carrier, the bag. And uh, it's also a folding bike, so if I if we want to go somewhere, my my bike will fit in the truck, and hers will fold up and fit in the truck too, so we can take both bikes with us. Uh, but she's pretty well got everything on her bike as as I do. She got the light, uh, cell phone holder, cup holder. Uh, she got a mirror, you know that she can pull out. And also, you probably heard in some of the videos, the little bell. We both have them. It just tells the people that, that we're coming up towards, that we're coming up behind them, so we don't rush right by them and scare them, you know. Uh, is, that, is that everything, Mike? Come on over here. Come on over here. So everybody can see you. Hey, come here. So, Mike's the reason I'm doing this video, because he's the one that read the comment about you guys wanting to know more about the bikes. So, you've, uh, now you know about the bikes. Um, on mine, I have never run out of battery. Uh, I'll, I can go easily go 10, 20 miles and still come home, there's plenty of battery left. But it does go a little bit slower, but there's still, on the indicator, there's still lots of power. Um, I'm, I'm thinking probably go about 35 miles. And that would be moving right along. <clears throat> I've had to turn this one down a bit. I've turned it down probably 75% because the motor had so much torque. Uh, if I put it down, it, it would lift the front end off the ground. Uh, and I'm too old for wheelies. Did lots of them when I was a kid, but no more. And uh, so I turned it down about 75%. <clears throat> so it's only working on 25% of the of the power. Um, it's really a comfortable bike. Um, it's a 500 watt motor, and I did that because the, the law around here, if it's 500 watts or less, you're allowed to ride on the sidewalk. You have to have pedals, but I can ride on the sidewalk, but I also can ride on the road. Um, there are um, other bikes that are a lot more powerful, uh, but they can't ride on the sidewalk, and they have to be, they ride them on the road, that's here. Um, and they have to have a license and insurance and the bike has to be uh, road worthy so I, 
think that's what it is. This, this little bag here I bought off of Amazon and it just fit in that area perfectly for the, for the controller. Um, anyway guys, there, there you go. Now you know about the bikes. Now I do have another bike that I'm eventually going to work on. Um, I can show you, I can show you it. I'll bring it out. Now this bike here is a uh, is a uh, what well, I a chopper. Now I told, mentioned that my my uh, motor is 500 watts. This one here, I'm going to put a really big tire on it, um, and it's going to be around 5,000 watts. And I'm going to have to um, <coughs> structure the frame here because it's all aluminum. I'll have to structure it to be able to handle a torque. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave the front wheel on it or not. I may go with more of a highway tire. Um, I think I'll leave the pedals on it just for just for fun. Um, and I'll, I'll put a better seat on it. And when I, when I electrify it, the, the battery is going to go here probably to simulate a gas tank. But the seat will be more comfortable. Now this this when I'm finished this one, and don't ask me when I'm I, I'm kind of busy. But anyway, it will probably do zero to sixty in two and a half seconds. It's going to be very fast. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> so now you know all about my bikes. So there you have it guys. Come on Mike, we'll say goodbye to the people. Come on Mike, come here. Atta boy. So Mike and I are going to say goodbye. Hey Mike, come on over here. Come here, say goodbye to the people. <laughs> oh, this is little Mikey. My little baby. I love you Mike. And we're not going to go for a ride, okay? <laughs> he loves it when I when I pull up on the bike and uh, his he jumps up up on me, he wags his tail. He can't wait to get in the in the basket because he knows he's gonna go for a ride. Anyway, I can't think of anything else to tell you guys, so have a good day. Mikey loves you, I love you, my wife loves you. Well that's it. Thanks.